What's going on YouTube? Geothnor here. So in today's video I have awesome news about the check rain jailbreak and of course we have finally some information about what exactly are the features of this jailbreak. So more and more developers in our community seem to have access to the check rain private jailbreak for the moment. And of course as we can see here Danny is one of these developers and of course Nikias is one of them as well. And they actually helped a lot in providing some information through their screenshots about what this jailbreak can do. Now, as you probably know, the check rain jailbreak is based on the uh, checkmate exploit, which is a bootroom exploit that cannot be patched by Apple. So this means that the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 4S and everything in between has this jailbreak supported. Now I'm pretty sure that the check rain jailbreak is not going to support the iPhone 4S, 5 and so on and it's probably going to concentrate on the 64-bit devices but for those it's probably going to support the iOS 13.1.3 all the way down to 12.4 or 12.4.1 because apart from the iOS 12.4 all the rest are not jailbroken for the moment but this is going to support all the new firmware as well because the exploit cannot be passed which means that iOS 13.2 and anything new in the future will be supported by this jailbreak only compatible devices which as I said are the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 7 and so on all the way down to the iPhone 4S. Now as you can see Danny posted this picture yesterday containing the check rain jailbreak and of course Nikki has posted one similar picture containing the same check rain jailbreak but this one is actually much more visible and from this picture in here you can see some of the features of this jailbreak that are are present and that will be available as part of the check rain jailbreak and the most important one that I can see is the TFP0 which is being patched. Now this is a very important thing because if you patch TFP0 this means that you get the kernel task port or task for the PID0 which means that you are able to do anything you want with the kernel. Now this is actually crucial for any jailbreak and since they get it it means that they're basically doing a lot of patches into the kernel and this also means that they're very far advanced into the jailbreak jailbreaking process because after you have TFP0 you're able to apply all the patches. Now another important thing that I saw in here is patching the Amphi execv hook. Now Amphi is one of the most important components when it comes to Apple code signing. It prevents you from running anything you want on your device. For example if a binary is not being signed it will stop it from being open. So for example if you want to run a jailbreak binary which is of course fake signed Amphi will stop you from doing that so we need to patch it before we're able to run anything properly on the jailbreak and of course this is an important patch and as you can see from this picture in here is being already applied at the stage of the jailbreak. Now another very important thing that I saw is the patch to the APFS snapshot. Now you probably remember from when iOS 12 was introduced that we have a major problem jailbreaking it because of the APFS snapshot which required a remount. Now the remount took months to create and of course was very unstable initially which led to the creation of rootless jailbreak which is a jailbreak that doesn't have an APFS remount but of course it's much more limited in what it can do and an APFS snapshot patch is what we need in order to be able to remount the rootfs as read and write which is actually necessary if you want Cydia, if you want tweaks to work and if you want anything on the jailbreak to work properly. So as you can see they already have it in there which means that their jailbreak already has a remount. Now there is something important that has been posted by the Checkrain Twitter in here, a very interesting picture with two devices having a Checkrain application on the screen. Now normally you see the jailbreak application on the screen if the jailbreak is actually a user land jailbreak for example the uncover or the Electra or Chimera and so on but this one is not a user land jailbreak at least not to my knowledge because this one is based on the checkmate exploit by Axiomex which is actually a USB driven exploit so at first the exploit itself is tethered which makes the check rain jailbreak tethered so yeah I'm not sure what that application is doing in there or what it's supposed to do since the jailbreak itself is not untethered and of course it's not like the uncover where you can open the application and jailbreak from there that's just not the way the exploit works so probably it's an application that allows you to toggle on and off various features or something. The Checkrain team did not provide a lot of information about their jailbreak. In fact, the only information they provided is through their screenshots in here. And yeah, some of their screenshots, for example, this one here, are pretty intriguing, but they do not explain what is currently going on. 
However, from the screenshots posted by Nikias and Danny in here, you can see that the jailbreak is basically very close to completion, there are a lot of patches that are being applied, and these are basically most of the patches that we need for a proper jailbreak to run. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this might be the most powerful jailbreak that was ever released, considering that iOS 13.1.3 will be supported, 13.1.2, 13.0, 12.4.1, 12 and possibly even lower. And finally, 12.3.1 and 12.3 can be jailbroken without having to wait for TFP0. Now for those of you who have anything between iPhone 5s and of course the iPhone 10, you can jailbreak with no problem with this exploit in the future, which means that you don't have to wait for TFP0 kernel exploits anymore. Now unfortunately this is not going to support the A12 devices, so no iPhone XS, XS Max or XR, and of course no iPhone 11 which is A13. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm GSNow and till the next time, peace out.